Hey guys. Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about where to eat seafood on the beach, just north of Armin Beach. Yes, and we're also going to share with you some nice little shops of where you can look for clothes or knickknacks, such as Treasure Cove, a really gem in the hiding. And we're also going to show you a great place if you love donuts and where you can have some in Armin Beach that are phenomenal. And don't forget, there is a place that makes their own olive oil and infuses it. And they have specialty vinegars that they pair with the olive oils. So you won't be disappointed in this video. So guys, we're going to play our intro video. And afterwards, we're going to show you all those details. Stay tuned. that we love food. So we're here at Armin Beach and one of the places they have, it's a donut place called Donnie's Donuts. And it looks amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and show you the donuts and we're gonna try them out of course in order to sacrifice our body for you guys in order to taste them out and see how it is. But let's uh, ask Tyler, He's uh, he works here. Hey Tyler. Can you give me a little history about Donnie's Donuts? Yeah, absolutely. Um, this location's been around for about eight years. We had one previous location in New Smyrna. Um, we also have another location in Daytona 1, directly across from the raceway. Um, we, they, Donald and Patty, the owners, they wanted to make an original cake donut recipe and kind of mix uh, an older style donut with more modern twist. So that's how we came up with uh, Donnie's Donuts here. We make all of our cake donuts in-house, make all of our icings in-house, a lot of our products are organic, non-GMO. Uh, we make our coffees and teas in-house as well. It's like some uh, really cool uh, homemade stuff. Nice. So then let me ask you this, what are the top three donuts that sell the most here? Um, without question, it's going to be our banana pudding, strawberry shortcake, um, maple bacon. Those definitely are the top three, and then fall mostly behind with the French toast and our fruity pebbles. So you have the banana pudding. Yes, sir, right here. Our strawberry shortcake here. And our maple bacon. Those should be definitely our top three. And then fall closely by the uh, French toast and the uh, fruity pebble. <laughs> And Clem, I also see over here, they, it says a Nutella donut. Yes, yeah, Nutella donut. So, but I don't what? see any there. What? <laughs> okay, let's just go. We got to leave. <laughs> but let me ask you, do you have any gluten-free donuts for those uh, that are gluten-free or dairy-free options? We do options? not. Okay. We did for a while, and we also did vegan donuts. Um, okay. Donnie wasn't super happy with the consistency. They weren't really up to the standards of the donuts that we have every day. Understood. So it's something that's in the works and something that will come back. Um, but yes, a super high demand for it. Absolutely. Cool. Um, cool. On Mondays through, or Sundays through Thursdays, we do blueberry cake donuts. So here we have vanilla, these are chocolate, and then this little tree here are going to be blueberry cake donuts. And then Fridays and Saturdays, we do uh, apple cider cake donuts. Oh, nice. And I also noticed you have some really interesting uh, coffees yes. that are. Uh, I don't know if it's the the beans or how they're blended, but can you tell us a little bit about sure. that? Because those are, are very cool as yeah, far as the are, varieties. Absolutely. So we do, um, we have our own non-GMO single origin coffees that we receive and we grind them here. We make our own cold brew concentrates. They take 20 hours to kind of steep in the water. We also do the same for, we make hibiscus tea, black tea, and chai tea in-house. Uh, they all take 20 hours to make, as well as uh, we have an ice drip. drip. Uh, we fill this up with ice, and then as the ice melts, it will slowly drip on the grounds, which are right here. And as the, at the same time the drip of water comes down, a drip of the uh, coffee ground will come down, and this will create our ice drip coffee, which is like non-acidic whatsoever and um, really strong. It's like more concentrated. It's just kind of cool. It's something I've never seen before. Um, it's a six hour process. Donuts is if you look at their teas, they have the different types of teas. They even have chai tea, which um, they do it in small batches, it says, but it has the hazelnut flavoring in it, the spices, the hibiscus. 
black, which is a Thai hibiscus blossom, which is really nice. And then over on the coffee side, you have the black water versus the hammer. And again, it's according to the beans they use, such as Brazilian organic versus the Guatemalan coffee beans. And then the different types of brews, because like he was mentioning earlier about the Velvet Queen, it has the Madagascar vanilla bean blended with the vanilla almond milk. And there's just such a, a variety of what you can do here. Really cool. Tim's already gone into town. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Yeah, so which one you're having? Oh, I'm having Bavarian. the Boston cream. Boston cream. Yes, but look at the Bavarian cream on it. It's really yummy. And then it has a little bit of the chocolate frosting. And I have to say, the cake is very moist. It's not very um, dry at all, which is good. Yeah, I'm going for the banana cream. Let's see. Oh, here. banana pudding, I'm sorry. It could be mine. Banana pudding. So there it is. Mmm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Wow. Def definitely taste the bananas. The consistency of the cake of the donut. It's pretty cool. A little light. Yeah, it's not. I it's love not the flavors. A, it's not a dense cake. No. That's dry. It's still. You know, you still feel like you're getting a, a substantial donut, but yet it's not heavy, which is nice. It's definitely different. Now I'm gonna try the strawberry now. Agreed. Whoop. Wow. I like it. It just gives you that hint of strawberries, but it's not overpowering. Good flavor. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. I'm glad I don't live near here because be some place I'll be visiting quite often. Mm -hmm. So now, okay. that was the strawberry. That well, was the banana pudding. Uh, Definitely recommend. I was just going to say, I'll recommend the Boston cream. The Boston cream. Yes, very much okay. so. Okay, so this is their blueberry cake. If I can get it out. Wait a second. You see that? Yeah. Clement mm. day. Ugh. Okay. Oh, wow. What do you think? Yep. Mm -mm -mm. You got a blueberry there with you. I do. Go for but it. look at how pretty the cake looks. And as you can see, look, it's moist. Yep. So. And we're right now, it's about what, um, 1230? That's why there's not too many people here. We came at the right time. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, coming at this time, we didn't have all the donuts out. We missed out on that one. Nutella. Oh, that's right. I almost went home because of it. So here's this. That is a blueberry cake with a cinnamon I can see sugar. it. I think it is. Hands down, love the consistency. I don't remember what this one is. Do you remember? No. But it looks yummy. Oh, I'm making a mess. That's all right. It's going to be more messy inside. Notice I don't have the camera towards me. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Okay, guys. All right, I gotta go see what this one is because you know what? This one, you could really taste the blueberry. Try it. Let me go see. Just do this. Tyler, what's this one? Oh, that's the blood orange. Blood, blood orange. That oh. is, that's the blueberry cake with the blood orange frosting. Which is actually a Florida orange, right? Isn't blood oranges wow. a Florida orange? So, oh my goodness, that's what I'm tasting. That's what it was. The orange taste in the frosting. Yep. That is amazing. All right, so here's, okay. the, so here's the deal, guys. I didn't taste the banana one because you didn't make, you didn't cut me a bite, but that's okay. We're not keeping score. Did I do that? I did, did I? And just sort of maybe. That's because you had your mouth on that Boston cream pie already. I know, because like that Alrighty. was calling my name. So, Kim. Yep. Yes. Thumbs up? As I, she puts it in her mouth. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. No, definitely. Every one that I've tried has been really good. But I'll say out of all of them, my top favorites are... Oh, it's going to be hard. It is. But I love the Boston cream. I like the blueberry with the burnt orange frosting. And 
oddly enough, because it doesn't have a lot of goop, but I really like that blueberry with the um, cinnamon sugar on it. That one's really nice. So I have not tried that one yet, but if I have to put it in order, my top favorite mm. is the banana pudding. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. it's the uh, raspberry, blueberry, black raspberry. I think that's a strawberry, strawberry. shortcake, isn't it? Strawberry shortcake. Mm -hmm. And then it'll be this bloody orange, whatever donut you call it. <laughs> and then this one here in order. So the banana, the banana pudding is a very good one. I just so, had a bite of that. That's really yummy. So guys, if you happen to be in Armin Beach, uh, they have two facilities, one in Daytona and one here, which is closest to the beach. Literally, it's probably about a block away from the beach or two blocks, the, the maximum. And it's right off of 40th. So the hours are Monday through Thursdays from 7 to 5 p.m., Friday from 7 to 6 p.m., Saturday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and then Sundays from 8 to 2 p.m. So if you guys come, you know the hours, come check it out. A great place to visit. Highly recommend it. Excellent. Come to this place, enjoy yourself. And in the description below, tell us what you think. Tell us which is your favorite donut out of all the ones you're going to eat. Make sure you grab a dozen because uh, just a one or two ain't going to cut it. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> That's so right. true. So enjoy. All righty. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Tani. Come on down to Treasure Cove Consignments in Ormond Beach, Florida. You're going to love it. Don't forget to come and see us. How long have you bad guys been doing business here? 38 years. 38 years, that's I, fantastic. I was a child prodigy. Oh wow. <laughs> so do you know anybody that writes books or something like that? Mm, uh, mm. Yeah. So you're the maybe. one that's been writing books. Yes. And I will too. I'll yeah. show you one of my books. Alright. So let's see here. That's what, so. This is a book is. I wrote for the American Cancer Society okay. after I went through breast cancer treatment in 2004. It won awards. Uh, I also designed a line of greeting cards for them as well. Uh, this is one of the Mom's Choice Awards that I nice. received for that. So uh, it's helped a lot of people yes. and that makes me happy. So if people want to buy that book or even your greeting cards, do you send them by mail or where can they get it? Um, Chemo and Me is available on my TanyMiller.com website. Uh, the greeting cards that we sell are available on Amazon and also Treasure Cove Cards and Gifts.com. Do you guys got garlic infused olive oil? We do have garlic infused olive oil. Because I order them by mail. <laughs> yes, we ship all over the continental US and shipping's free after 50. Ooh, good wow. to know. Oh, yeah. So what's so unique about like some of the flavors oh, yeah. that are your top three? Our top three yeah. flavors, garlic, uh, Tuscan herb, and butter are our more popular olive oils. Um, the butter one's really unique because it is completely dairy free. It's just a proprietary blend of herbs that make it taste just like butter. The garlic is infused with garlic, garlic. tastes just like garlic, and the Tuscan herb is also a blend of Tuscan spices that make it really good for either chicken, or you can put it on salad, or bread dipping, or vegetables. It's pretty much everything you want. You can put it on your veggies. It's honestly great. Wow. And you have a wild fern leaf dill. Yes, that one's very good. I actually discovered that one tastes really nice in for dark pomegranate balsamic. I was just going to say, you can see, it's nice that you guys have what the pairings are yeah. too, which Those is good. Those are suggestions, but honestly, it's whatever you like. Yeah. So our olive oil skincare brand actually comes from a, a, um, an Australian company, so we get it shipped here. And then they even have the um, 
Shower Bless. So here you have to valet park your truck, your vehicle. They'll take care of it. This guy's been doing it for 20 years. And so this is called the High Tide Check Jack. And then this is where we're gonna eat. Let's go check it out. This is perfect. You get a nice little beach breeze. It's like perfect. Nice spot. Agreed. Agreed. Really nice. Listen to that. Ocean breeze. This is called, a, we're going to have an ocean front munch. I love it. Nice. Yes. And look at the colors of the water. Okay, so we are here at the High Tides at Snack Shack, and obviously we're outside. That's why our hair is going everywhere, <laughs> but where it's supposed to. But I'm here with Jennifer, and she is the manager here, and she's going to tell us a little bit about the restaurant. So what are some really fun facts you can tell us about the restaurant? Well, um, High Tides at Snack Shack has been here since 1947. Um, we've endured several hurricanes and I bet. still standing strong so that's awesome um, so we're a little kind of historic spot here in Flagler Beach and um, I would say people's favorite food items yes what are um, those our fish tacos are very okay. popular the fish Reuben sandwich is another popular item okay um, people love like our clam chowder and our fish dip um, our coconut shrimp is another one and then the gator tail is one of our newer items that people really love. Now, are you guys open for breakfast? We are not. Okay. We open at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. And yeah. then how late do you stay open? We take our last customer at 8 o'clock. Oh, nice. We're open Friday through Tuesday. And on Mondays and Tuesdays, we run a shrimp special, $12 for a pound of our peel and eat shrimp. That's what I'm getting today. Yeah. So can someone kind of like be on the beach for the day and then just come up and, and grab Absolutely. food, right? Yeah. Nice. How are they able to park? So beachgoers, we ask them to park down the road here on 28th Street or on A1A. Okay. Um, we are, our parking lot's very small. Okay. And, which is why we have valets. People are often like, why does this place have valets? Yeah. Because we have a small parking lot and we can get very busy at any given moment. So we need someone out there managing the vehicles and, and all of that. So we don't like to take up spaces. For beach goers right but they do have places they can go but people can hang out at the beach all day um you can drink on the beach and have your dogs on the beach here in flagler oh that's a good point you can have your dogs on the beach huh yeah. there's not certain hours or they have to be in the leash just or... to, well, if you get closer to the pier you can't have dogs okay um and you, they have to be on the leash yes. okay good yeah. let me ask this question though yes. if i was to catch something there if i was to catch something there can i bring it in here to have it cooked Ah, oh, no. okay. You so got, you got to have a special license for that. For you fishermen, you can't do that. <laughs> I said, but you can, can always take it home and cook there it. Yes, yes, there you absolutely, go. Absolutely, absolutely. And it'll be a nice fresh catch. It's not a big place, so we we can accommodate smaller like parties. groups like that. We okay. can't accommodate large parties um, or groups, but yeah, we've had plenty of anniversaries and birthdays we've had people get married out here on the oh, beach that sounds cool. um, small weddings and then they'll they will come up and you know have something to eat have or like have a little thing eat. after so, something yeah. a little more intimate yes yeah, yeah exactly. nice yeah now what about your desserts do you have any specialty yep. as far as homemade lime pie key lime pie yeah, that's the one <gasps> sounds that's good the one. Yeah. and what about your drinks any specialties as far as so we're beer and wine only we don't have liquor um, okay we do like a sake mary frozen um, daiquiri that people love, especially in the summer when it's hot. So, yes, yeah. so much, yeah. so much. You're always looking for those kind of things in the summer. Yeah. Well, great, Jennifer. Thank you so much for all the information. Of course, thank you. That's and guys, you definitely want to take time to come. You won't be disappointed. We are 2805 South Ocean Shore Boulevard, which is the same as A1A here in Flagler Beach. 
three miles south of the Flagler Beach Pier, right near Gamble Rogers State Park, directly on the ocean. They said it's kind of like an old bay, but it's their own um, mixture of spices. So I'm excited to see what that's going to be like. I'm going in. Go in, babe. Go in. I'm going I'm in. Feeling. It's got that Cajun kick, the black kick. Oh my. Very flavorful. Fringe Try it. Looking good. Sneak a shrimp in here. The shrimp is fantastic. Definitely a yummy delicious. Mm. Dipping it in the butter. I'm not a cocktail sauce person with my seafood. So I'm glad it came with the side of butter. But this is even good without the butter, dipping it in the butter. So it's very yummy. So I have to lick that seasoning before. What do you think? Mighty tasty. Like I say, finger licking good. Mmm. So I'm showing you inside the little hatch puppy. What is that, like peppers? Can't tell. Oh, yeah. Well, to be determined, but in any case, it's very good, whatever's in there. They're dense, but they're still kind of fluffy. And then the outside has got the crunch like you would expect from a hush puppy. Mm. So it's really good. I like it. Mm -hmm. So we Very tasted good. the shrimp, the tacos, the hush puppy. And I have to say, there's a thumbs up for this place. Definitely you guys got to come and try this place. Especially the atmosphere, listening to the ocean, watching the ocean. Yes. It's just very tranquil and pretty quiet. We couldn't ask for anything better. So very you, relaxing. So if you guys find yourself at Armin Beach, come and come to this place. I'll put the address down below so you guys will be able to find it easy. Yeah, because I think it's only like maybe 10 or 15 minutes further north of um, Armin. But it's really worth it. And. Um, you can even come, like like they mentioned when we were talking with Jennifer before, you can just come right off the beach and just sit in this area. Um, you don't have to be all, you know, cleaned up and another, a nice gloves and, and uh, shorts or anything like that. So it makes it really convenient. But you won't be disappointed. It's yummy. Yeah, guys. So this is what I'm doing. You guys can see this. I actually put some shrimp in with the uh, redfish that's... The seasons are just popping all over the place. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Try it. So the beach that we were, it was just probably maybe a quarter of a mile. So if you guys come, you guys can go to that beach and then come eat here for lunch or dinner. Enjoy. Listen, if you guys come in the description below, tell us what was it that you guys selected to eat? Was it the tacos? And if it was the tacos, what kind of fish was it? Was it the mahi-mahi? Was it the uh, black and uh, red fish? Or anything else was in the menu? Oh, and yeah. If they happen to have the uh, special for the shrimp, let us know what you think. Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. And uh, so give us your opinion down in the description below. And this will be cool because then we'll know what is it that you guys are really asking or what you're liking. So like that, we can start looking for unique places to cater you guys. So don't forget to give us a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to our channel. And so hit the all bell black button because like that, you guys can get notified when the next video is up. So I think that's pretty much covers it, right? I think so. Except for one thing. I'm diving in. She's diving in. The one thing too is don't forget we have a merchandise store. That's another way to support us. Check it out in Linktree. And then you can see uh, all the different like mugs and, and water bottles and t-shirts that you guys can can buy. So guys, thanks again for watching this video and hopefully you guys enjoy it. And don't forget that if you go and visit any of these places, let them know where you found it. It's all about food and places. This is Clem and Kim. We'll talk to you guys soon.